because you've got the agenda and can see it. Yeah, more. And he probably is driving. <laughs> well, I'm just surprised no one else wanted to do it. Or should I call the meeting to order? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what time is it? 7.05. 7.05. I call the meeting for the DEI. Is there anyone that can second it? I don't know. Do we have to sec? No, I don't know. I've never done this before. I I don't don't order. Order. No one else yeah. wanted to do it, so no. I yeah. can't keep sitting there. All right, there. I second it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> do what I say. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, let's move on. Yeah. Okay. So the first that we can call to order is, are we going to go over the minutes from last month? We can, I, I don't know if anybody usually, has an opening reflection. I usually follow the agenda. So one, anyone two, has four. an opening reflection? Anything about yesterday's observations or? I didn't understand what you said, Mark. Your phone was kind of breaking up. Can you repeat that? Oh, I, oh I was just I was just thinking that with yesterday being June Juneteenth, there was certainly opportunity for reflections. Mm -hmm. Well, I stayed in the house yesterday. It yeah. was terribly hot. I yeah. was going to pull out the grill and grill out, but it was so hot. I decided to just stay in the house all day and then it rained a monsoon. So I'm quite I'm <laughs> kind of glad I didn't pull out the grill because I would have been running for cover after that. So yesterday was was kind of unexpected because it was really, really the, the weather was stifling. Yeah. And it wasn't something that could have been a celebration. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Well, I like seeing that more and more communities are, are doing something. Amherst, mm -hmm. Amherst had an event, and I believe it. Yeah. Uh, not Grant Park, the other park, Mill. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, People are, you know. Mm -hmm. I was in Greenfield in the evening for something unrelated to Juneteenth and saw that they still had their sign up saying that there would be a road closure for the parade at noon. And I was like, there's four people. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hot. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there were no casualties because it was so hot. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 was a worry in my thought. Yeah. With, with the weather being as it was, you know, a lot of the elderly people oh my gosh. may not have sufficient cooling systems. And yeah. you know, mm -hmm. but I did not notice uh or hear about any Overly over uh, administration administers uh, to the emergency room. Okay, good. so mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to move to the clerk report? Yeah. Does any, anyone else have any open reflections? Megan, Mark? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go to number three. The question. So we'll review the minutes of 5-16-24 as distributed. Uh, Joanne had sent a few suggested edits, which I mm -hmm. incorporated. I see them. Yep. We have a motion to approve or any further edits that anybody would like to suggest. I think it's fine. Yeah, that's fine to me. Somebody want to approve? Approve? Yeah. Okay, Crystal. Yeah. I second. Okay. So this is where you would say all those in favor. All those in favor. <laughs> Mark, do you want to put your hand up and show us? <laughs> He's driving. Yeah. What is that? I know. I, I will say I. I am in favor. Good okay. job, Mark. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And that, okay. I, I, I appreciate why somebody else 
probably because I might be talking a lot to them. I don't necessarily. All right, so once we have done that, we can move on to old business. Uh, the social potluck gathering details. Uh, I think we're on how do we learn. Yeah, we're on the agenda. agenda. That's the minutes. Oh, uh, okay. So we've completed with this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So after we complete this, then we move we'll on to back to the. Oh, okay. back to the. Do we can we come back to this at all? I don't. I don't well, think we okay. There might be fine. references. There right. might be references. That's, yeah, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Back to probably. Thank, thank you, Crystal. Thank sure. you for so helping again. Fine. Well, this is new to me. That's you know, okay. And I'm learning. And you're going to so, be so good at this. Okay. I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Yeah, learn by doing. Yes. Okay. So, had we learned. Um, what, what is this in reference to? Um, I'm supposed to invite had we learned folks to uh, join us at one of our meetings and talk about ways we might be able to collaborate. Uh -huh. And I have just had so much chaos in my life that I have not done that yet. Okay. This is actually on this is where having the minutes are helpful mm -hmm. because usually Pat will draw on the agenda from items on the minutes and here it is right here. Oh okay that's yeah. still so, so where it says A. Yeah but I can report I can add a report to this. Oh good. So um I had reached out to Humera about the um Hadley World's Fair. That was I think somewhere on here I said I would do that. And where she, uh, she replied saying um that she might be to reply. Um, they are, we are not working on plans for a 2024 Hadley World's Fair. Oh. Um, our network is in a distinctly different phase this year, oh. with our primary asset being the Google group with which to share information and coalition as needed. Mm -hmm. An example of this would be the community members that came together around affordable housing, the Econology mm -hmm. Project, mm -hmm. or those that came to process the events that unfolded uh, last October, November in Gaza, Israel, Palestine. Mm -hmm. Our organizers have been pulled into various directions between work and home life. We are consoled knowing there is a town committee tackling ongoing issues. And I would welcome the committee continuing the mantle of a Hadley World's Fair gathering should it choose to do so. Oh. Well, that's what she had to say. That was May 22. Okay. So that's what I'll report. It doesn't sound, it sounds like they're not actively doing proactive stuff. Right. Okay. Okay. Can we move on to B? Yeah. Thank you so much, Joanna. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. Movie matinee with the senior center. How did that go? Oh, it's great. Really? I actually got to see it this time. It did. It's so interesting. The presenter is so good. Uh -huh. And it's uh, it just I mean really eye opening and very thought provoking and they ate a lot of delicious food right which is <laughs> so hard to watch people eat delicious food when you can't have any but <laughs> <laughs> would you say that it gave you more insight on the types of food being offered in the African American culture yeah when yeah you were, I'm surprised by the different foods and the flavors it was that they so express much variety and yeah and the conversation that the presenter had with an elderly gentleman about the word plantation mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. for the younger man had always had this really negative connotation and he didn't even want to use it in conversation mm -hmm. and the older gentleman who had grown up on a plantation said no that's our word we built that that's our community we might not own it Mm -hmm. But we built it, and that's a different kind of ownership. Huh. And, and this was, was part of the movie? Nice. Because oh. it was part of the documentary. Really? You would go to different places and talk to the people and then share food with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was so interesting. And is this a series? Yeah. Can anyone? Pat knows more about it. Netflix. Netflix? Yeah. So anyone can go to Netflix and see High in the Hog and get right. a better idea of what was presented at the uh, Senior Center. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, Excellent. It's two, two seasons. Okay. Four episodes each season. Wow. And we ended up watching season two, episode one. Okay. Which actually starred in New Orleans and wow. really focused on the on the cuisine in the New Orleans, Orleans that is mm -hmm. African, Spanish, and French. Yes. Right. In ethnicity. Yes. And one of the most um, fabulous places in the U.S. for food. Very 
Yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. We're driving a maid. Man, were you? Hey, I'm supposed to be in the maid. I haven't even eaten my lunch. No. Would you like to take your position? Yeah. You have an extra set of. Uh, Me? Uh, <laughs> you can use there. mine. Here you go. Okay. Or you've written on it. Maybe yeah, yeah, you should keep it. it. Well, we just keep chocolate it. Chocolate it. Do you have you another have, one? You don't have another one, right, Pat? So here, okay. take this one. Okay. And just give it back when you're done. Okay. All right. <laughs> I will learn you right now. <laughs> I will watch and learn every little thing. So going forward, if I ever say yes again. You didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know. Right. I can do it again. No, thank you. It's really yeah. fine. You oh, thank what, you, guys. I think there's an equity thing here. One yeah. other point about the movie matinee is we had 14 people, including Sarah and me. And they were very engaged. And as requested, we did open it up to conversation. And people shared their um own reflections. Mm -hmm. I mean, another aspect of this season two, episode one, is the Pullman Porters. Right. And um, that position in the U.S., they, we also traveled to Chicago in episode one, season mm -hmm. two. And Pullman um, Porters, like the Pullman train? Yes. Yes, and we had porters, um, mostly African American men, mm -hmm. and what that experience was like. And one of the men in attendance at the senior center talked about having traveled on that train when wow. he was in the service and being familiar with that. That's so, excellent. Wow. And he actually grew up outside Chicago, which is, you know, mm -hmm. he loves and mm -hmm. I love. And it, mm -hmm. that was an interesting part of, of the film because mm -hmm. of the, you know, migration of people, Black people from the South. Um, north in yeah. to Chicago. Yeah. Right. So that that's an interesting yeah. episode that people want to. Well, I, I think I'm going to have to take a look at that. Yeah. I did see um, something in relevance to that, but I didn't know it was the same thing that was going to be shown at the senior center. Mm -hmm. But now that you've provided so much insight, I think I'm going to have to take a look at it mm -hmm. because you never know. Mm -hmm. Information in there may may be something that my yeah. own grandmother may have told me yeah. when I was growing up, yeah. you know, I may have some type of connection yeah. to it. So it would be good for me to sit yeah. down and watch it. Thank you for doing yeah. that. That was great. Well, yeah. episode two, I think, goes to New York. Uh oh. I'm, we'll I'm have to so check it out. Which episode? Because we it says it's season one, episode four. It does yeah. say that. Yes. And, and that, we did not watch that. that okay. <laughs> yeah, right. just and I don't know exactly why, but one. somehow we, we cued it wrong or it was cued wrong or it advanced wrong or something. We started in New Orleans, and the audience right. said that was okay because yep. they would enjoyed say. it anyway and would go back and, and watch episode four, season one. Oh, okay. So, and as you see, it <laughs> did have relevancy because there was a, a gentleman who actually yeah, wrote it was trained, so yeah, meant to be, right? yeah, exactly. It was meant yeah. to be okay. So, yeah. that's yeah, and and I love this partnership that we have with the senior center. First of all, the senior center staff is incredibly collaborative and supportive. And number two, I just appreciate the audience of, of people who come out and be mm -hmm. built and contribute to the conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As seniors, people have lived many years exactly. and have yeah. lots of their own reflections to yeah. add to conversations. Yeah. So I always really appreciate it and hope we can continue this partnership. Yeah. Well, I have spoke, well, I have to continue to speak with Violet. Uh, I would like to, as you know, the seniors um, have meals prepared for them. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one Thursday a month, they have a menu. So I did uh, speak with someone at town hall to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. However, it was decided that I should reach out to Violet on my own mm -hmm. and come up with my own day. Okay. And prepare food since I again prepared the food for the uh, the Hadley last year, um, Juneteenth. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. I think maybe I'll do that this year. I'll come up with a day, possibly in August, because it does take time to arrange that. Mm -hmm. And my son, who's a certified chef, he said he would help and prepare meals for the seniors to enjoy since they did enjoy my food so much <laughs> yeah. last year that there wasn't enough to go around. Mm -hmm. So this year we'll make enough. It wouldn't it's not going to be large portions, but something to maybe even follow through with the actual um high on the hog. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. 
you yeah. know, so they can sample some of the food, yeah. possibly not the actual food, but the regions of where this food may have come from. Yeah, that would be great. So they're currently doing, did you say one day a month? I think it's or one day, day a month, week, month or maybe one day a week. I don't remember. And did they mention what their volume, how many meals they? I'm not sure. This is a menu that goes out. It's consistent. Mm -hmm. So if you were to pick up the menu when you leave, you'll be able to see on the calendar when the food um menu is available in the days they have it. But I'm only thinking of one day, yeah. you know, a special day. And then when you spoke with Humera and she stated, you know, maybe we can do something. Maybe we can come together and make it a special day, even more special than just providing the food. Maybe we can all sit down and say, okay, maybe we can do it on this day, something for the DEI mm -hmm. and invite people and, you know, similar to what happened last year. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd be, I'd be interested to know what their current volume is. And I might have just proudly warn, you know, if they're doing 12, if they advertise that you're doing it, they might end up with 30. Well, that's why I speak with Violet Orner <laughs> yeah. in regards to the calendar. So last year, we didn't expect as many people to come. And yeah. it was, I don't know if you're familiar with it, Mark. What we did last year with half learn. I think I got here at, at the end of it, as I recall. Okay, so, so I got a little right. taste of some of the things. That... Right, people from different cultures mm -hmm. bought food from their back, their culture, and mm -hmm. we had different crock pots full of stuff and yeah. foil pants full of things. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't meant for everyone to sit down and, and get a dinner's portion. Yeah. This was just meant for a taste of what yeah. is being prepared. So we yeah. didn't have in mind the amount of people that were no, going to you had a lot. Yeah, yeah. So we can't we can't sit down and say, okay, if they have 12, yeah. you know, we sh we should expect that. But just go ahead and, and go with it and do what you can and hopefully everyone will arrive in time and get a taste of pie yeah. and a hog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. I think I think it would be, especially with Knowing Humira is not going to do it this year, yeah. so maybe we can all come up with something. Yeah. Is, that what, is that what it was the Hadley World Fair? Yeah. That was that was it was yes in the conjunction with the Hadley World okay. Fair. It was going on June. T well, not exactly yeah. June. 10th, yeah, but it was done for June. It was another warm day. I remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were all inside the senior center. Mm -hmm. and I was funny. I was outside with Shell and his wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 That sounds amazing. Um, I, I, I love that idea. I would love to support that. We're going to be traveling a bit in August, but if we decided as a, as a group that, <clears throat> especially since the World's Fair isn't happening, I think that's a wonderful idea. And I appreciate, um, I just want to say thank you to folks that um, attended the, the, um, this Juneteenth, you know, documentary showing at the Senior Center. And I agree, Pat, that that is such a um, important collaboration. Um, and that and that seems like um, people really are interested in the events that we're helping to sponsor. So thank you for everyone that that was there in attendance. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. That, that might lead into item C. So that was 4B, so we're on to 4C, which is continued conversation on offering community-wide DEI education in conjunction with Hadley departments, groups, potential speakers, facilitators. Mm -hmm. I would just throw out that Violet asked if we would like to do something again in November. Mm -hmm. um, we have sponsored a film the past few years mm -hmm. in honor of Indigenous people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know if we want to do that, but not October. October. I'm sorry, you're right. Thank you, Mark. October. Yes. She said October. October. She said October. Yeah. Yes. So why not? Sure. I mean, I can look into some mm -hmm. possibilities if if mm -hmm. that is of interest. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention is that. Um, one of the people in attendance um, asked if we would consider doing something on jazz, uh -huh. the history of jazz oh, in the U.S. Beautiful. And I, I was thinking he mentioned the person who was talking with us uh, suggested maybe we look to UMass Amherst mm -hmm. um, in the music department and see if there would be somebody who would come and talk or perform or something. 
And um, I think that would be fun. And we have on our own committee um, a faculty emeritus. Wayne. Yes. So maybe Wayne, we could ask Wayne, we could put this on our future agenda and ask Wayne if he what he thinks of that idea. Um, I'll just throw in there and kind of backtracking to reflections. Yesterday, while I was <clears throat> not getting out of town, um, I did try to um, spend a little time reflecting on what Juneteenth was about, and I bounce around on the on Google and read some things, and, and then I thought about the film that we did, uh, Summer of Soul. Oh mm -hmm. yeah! And I was going through that, and then you know you can just you know do this link and that link, and somewhere I got reading to someone talking about someone talking about jazz, and I can't I can't remember who the the musician was. He was an African American musician who had been, you know, characterized as, as jazz. He said, Well, that's the white man calling our music jazz. He said, We call it black classical music. And I was like, I like that idea. I've never heard that. You know, I, I can't remember and where. My I, grandfather, but, I grew up on him listening yeah, to jazz. Yeah. And that's what he called it. I've never <laughs> heard of black classical music. I'm just being honest here. He called jazz, and that was my grandpa listening to it. So, yeah, I don't know. But I, it's, it's a wonderful word. I first got a pleasant word, not in a long time. But wasn't there a program on WFCR that was black classical music? Uh -huh. Was that with John Montanari? Or I don't remember. This was a year Jr. ago when yeah. I used to listen to public radio a lot and then I listen to the podcast. So. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, speaker facilitation, where will we go with that before so, I went off is, the rails? This is related to. Minutes item 4D. So this is where I was going to give a report of my meeting with Carolyn. Okay. I think I don't see it here, but I think this is that slot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look outside. Something's coming in. <laughs> um, so I met with Carolyn on May 21st and on my lunch break. And my agenda was to discuss uh, funding for any DEI education. Um, I wanted to ask her who keeps the website updated. And then I had a, my something of my own that I want to ask her that is, I haven't presented the committee, but it was just uh, in, in the spirit of diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, one of my thoughts, which I explained to her, was was residents of the town being informed of things happening. And I gave her an example of an email that I get from my hometown from the town clerk's office that has all these events coming up. It also includes taxes are due, <laughs> road construction, but it and but my hometown is much smaller, so less than nine hundred people. Mm -hmm. But I found out, I, talk, I even talked to the person who does this, and, mm -hmm. and I just showed that to Carolyn, and she lit up and wanted a copy of it. So this was my my agenda. So we talked for an hour. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that we started out with her telling me on the day that I met that Troy's last day was Friday. So mm -hmm. if you read in the paper that he he's not, he's gone. Oh. So we knew that his, well, Pat and I knew that his wife had taken a job yeah. in Georgia. So he's been, I think you saw it on social media that he's on LinkedIn. Yeah, on LinkedIn. Yeah. What's that? What's that uh, set symbol they use? Ready to work or something? Or, yeah. So basically, he was yeah. saying, Hire me. I'm looking to, you okay. know, and we were yeah. like, Whoa. She said the whole time his wife was, they were trying to make it work for his wife living down there and, mm -hmm. and him living here and realized that didn't work. Um, well, my job was to contact him, which I did, and then Carolyn contacted me to say he had left. Yeah. <laughs> so I found that out, and I and I had I had shared with her how we had met with him, and get this whole list of rich, you know, ideas yeah. and how we are about pursuing some education. And that's where she said, "Well, 
I have got so many resources because I was doing HR before he was. And, um, and if you're looking for something, let me know. I got the impression. So I never got an answer to the question about funding because I said what the funding was for. And that's where she, she went to, uh, to, to answer that, uh, that she knows lots of resources that, that she can uh, just let her know what we're looking for. So it, it in terms of funding, my suspicion is that if we're interested in something that costs, that then we need to bring it to the select board or some, you know, because yeah. I don't think there's money sitting there. This is, you know, set aside for the DEI work, you know. So um, now something that's got me pondering that she asked me when I met with her, she said, does our committee have a charge? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have. Oh, a, we do? We have a mm -hmm. mission. mission statement. That we have. But a charge, I, I felt like I said to her, not that no, <laughs> because, and I could be wrong. I know we have a mission, but to me, a charge is. Uh, yeah, I don't know that we formally, I mean, yeah. I would think of a charge as, you know, this is what you're asked to do. And I, yeah. I've always assumed that we were asked to advance diversity in, in all respects in the town. Mm -hmm. Um, right. but, I, but I don't know that I could put that in words eloquently. And I think you're right. I, for me, I, I'm kind of looking for concrete, like that. That's that's a statement advancing. So, it, in what ways do we do we do that? What, mm -hmm. like right now, what's emerging is collaborating mm -hmm. with groups um, and but, educating. That's what we've been. Yeah. I mean, that's what it seems like we've been kind of doing because we had limited bandwidth so doing these um movies tied to certain yeah. you know whether it's you know um, mlk or juneteenth or indigenous people or you know we've been trying to uh, that was one thing we were able to do was to share that and just make that available yeah. mm -hmm. um we i think we also didn't Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we discussed that it is we are not empowered to get involved in any issues, more to um, be a resource. If someone has an issue, we can offer to direct them to HR, although now there's not an HR person, but hopefully that's going to change. Um, yeah, because we don't have the bandwidth or training or Yeah, I think the annual reports outline our work in relation to our mission. And in the mission, in my view, there are specific charges. You are to do this. You, I mean, it, to me, it's pretty clear. And annually, we have given examples of how we fulfill the mission. Mm -hmm. We don't have a, a summary of all those years, but we have written three, I think, annual reports. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that yeah. might be something to do. Look at those. Whereas the term charge might be seen as a, a more focused, yeah. a finite thing. I think ours is is a broader. Yeah, I think what it made me close is good because what made me think of is like, for example, when I was on the climate change committee, they got it moving to get a ban of, of you know, plastic single-use things. Right. It, it just made me think that group agreed on a goal and put it to the select board and pushed it through. That I, I just, yeah. I, I think my brain was going in that direction. Yeah. And and what we're doing is different than that. Right. And so I just appreciate the place to just talk about that because I felt like, are we, you know, we're, are, how do I put this? We are educating people are participating and uh, are are we getting diversity of people? You know, are we getting people who are already on board with with DEI work? Are we, you know, if, if it's just a just I got pondering. <laughs> well, I, I, I think back to when um, uh, Andrea um, was on and she mm -hmm. she came up she made us aware of some kind of metric yeah. that towns use. Mm -hmm. That would have been, is my recollection, and you can correct me, 
we were like, ooh, that's what we want to do. But it, we just didn't have the bandwidth. Right. Yeah. So we, you know, when there was yeah. a, there was a year when everyone was going to step off, and we were all right. Let's let's just scale back what yeah. we can do. And so education has been something that we 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 can yeah. do. We, you know, it may not always feel like we have as much teeth into the you know game as we'd like, but we're doing what we can do. Mm -hmm. Maybe one of our charges should be to recruit <laughs> and get more. Uh, I don't know where you get more people with more bandwidth. Maybe when they're retired, they're going to have more bandwidth instead of working. But then they usually have other things planned. Mm -hmm. You know. It's not a lot of people who retire yeah. and they're like, now what should I do? Yeah. Right. So. Right. Those well, that's very well said because I I got further to when I was talking about the website. I had recently gone to I think I'd gone to the the Friends of the Hadley Library website. Mm -hmm. I've gone to the Hadley Mothers Club website. All these different websites in town and saw that all of them were not up to date. Mm -hmm. And and and. Uh, Carolyn was saying that I think that the town website is always up to date, like minutes and meetings and all of them. But in terms of things happening, activities, Karen was saying there is a big problem of a lot of silos. Mm -hmm. um, but that's this isn't the only town with this. This mm -hmm. is and, and I, I got to thinking and I I went to a Friends of the Hadley Library meeting. It's nice to see you there. Mm -hmm. And I, I could I could kind of see that there are all these there are these groups doing great work and they have so little bandwidth. And when it comes to the website, it's all volunteer and, and to keep it up is it's, it's a part-time job. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I like, I started to see this theme in that way. So it, in, in, in any case, mm -hmm. she, she, she really appreciated that I came by and I gave her a copy of what my hometown does to, to inform people. Yeah. Um, I get that email. I passed it my brother and my niece and my nephew that are up there and they, you know, they participate in things. And I thought, you know, that would be a cool thing, but I don't know that that's something our committee would do. That might be mm -hmm. Sally Carolyn, I'm up for someone doing that. But well, we um, are into the new year. Like yeah. One of our next things is organization. And maybe what we do is we also come up with what is our slate of goals for the next yeah. year. And again, yeah. You want to have some that are reaches that we hope we can do, but we don't promise ourselves because we don't want to burn ourselves out. I think I was thinking uh, maybe we can try to reach out to um, Annie and see if they maybe would like some of the students to participate. Maybe young fresh minds mm -hmm. would provide a you know, clearer insight on what the, the new generation is looking for yeah. as far as yeah. the DEI yeah. committee is, yeah. is regarding. I mean, I think that children have bright minds and we can utilize it to see what it is we're lacking because we only go on the mindset of people our age or, you know, people mm -hmm. in the senior center or connections. However, if we had someone who's a little bit younger that would like to sit in on the meetings and bring them inside, I think that would be nice. Well, or even visit one. Right. You reminded me on the meeting. When we started this group, we had uh, Ann Latham, and, right? Is that her name? Amy. 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 And we had a student. Yeah, what was that? I uh, there was a student uh, on, on, the, on the committee. She was, um, I think, she wasn't the student wasn't she like a co-leader of the diversity club i think yeah. so and so yeah. and so yeah. their yeah. faculty advisor was amy yeah. and so that right. was one of the things that and this was also during covid so yeah, we, we had gone to yeah. um zoom uh, and this is just my take but i don't know that that um i can't remember any student's name. Do you remember her? Okay, that's a graduate. I should mention it anyway. It, right. Okay. Right. Right. Well, well right. anyway, so student X, um, <laughs> I never felt like she had the opportunity to really engage as much as she might have hoped to at the outset because we were kind of this hybrid Kind of going to the point of how we had the potluck to get to know you. Yeah. It, there's just a different energy yeah. when we're all together. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's also, we 
are a bunch of older adults and she was, you know, and so, and that's why I, I think it was wise that Amy was there as her. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 We also in a lockdown at that time. Yeah. So just remember that yeah, it, yeah. couldn't do yeah. it. Yeah, it was a challenging time. It, it was a challenging time. I, so. I think that in, in talking about collaboration and continuing these collaborations with the senior center, with the library, hopefully, any other community groups, I do think it's really important to continue working with Dr. McKenzie and the schools. I really get the impression that they're trying to do a lot of work. They're trying to do a lot of restorative justice work and that there are issues coming up in the schools around um, oppression, around um, students, students with various identities. So I, I think it would be really, as a parent, but also as a member of the committee, I think it'd be really important to continue collaborating with Dr. Mm -hmm. McKenzie and then the leadership at the schools to kind of hear about, you know, how we can support their efforts and what they're seeing in terms of climate um, for students and families right now. Because sadly, right, in, in all schools, these issues are coming up. And so it's happening here too. So, I like, yeah, thank you, Megan. I like that. It's maybe we, yeah, we just regularly, maybe, you know, once a year or invite her to chat or whatever, yeah. just a regular, why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know we've done things like some of you um, were able to attend the event at Hopkins. Um, yeah. So I think there's a lot of different ways we could collaborate, whether that, whether, you know, they have any students that, um, are interested in doing sort of a student advisory committee with us, or um, I know they're doing restorative justice groups in the school setting for students. So I know that they're really working hard. And um, I think it could be important for us as a committee to be visible in our support of those efforts. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully there will be someone from the school that would like to come and sit in on a meeting to maybe provide us with some insight on what the younger generation is feeling or thinking and how far, you know, things are going within the school system or behind closed doors because mm -hmm. we do not know that. Yeah. You know, we, we do not have any idea of what these children are experiencing. So it would be of a greater challenge as well to have someone from the school come in and mm -hmm. maybe before then they can get some information from their peers to speak on at the meeting. Mm -hmm. You know, something that can influence them. I guess I wonder for students, um, for students to share, both because they're minors, but also because these meetings are recorded, I guess I wondered about talking to school leadership or students, if there could be another way to have contact, because yeah. there might be students that aren't comfortable being recorded in a public meeting space. Um, so especially if anybody's sharing, you know, vulnerable stuff around experience. So I guess I wonder about how we um, could respect open meeting laws and also um, find ways of of making those connections. And mm -hmm. I know enough about open meeting laws to be able to <laughs> speak to that. Well, I was just I was just thinking one of the things that we started to talk about some time back, but I don't know how much we've done of not a lot of it, is having subcommittees. Yeah, exactly. Because in our first year or two, we, we struggled with the whole open meeting hey, you know, Wayne law restrictions and we felt like our hands were tied that we couldn't talk to each other for 30 days until the next um but as long as you don't have a quorum you can continue to work between meetings with all that like extra the, yeah, bandwidth yeah, and energy right. that you have in time but but that might be a, an avenue where we we uh maybe chart out, outline some subcommittees we might like to have. And if we invited uh, a faculty and student students from the from Hopkins, maybe they would say, oh, we'd like to be active on that subcommittee. And then they don't have to be in the open meeting. 
That's a great idea, Mark. Yeah. That might be the way to do yes, it. Yes, that's a great idea. And if they're going to open up and talk about some things, it might be safer with if it's just one or two people. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Wayne. Hi. Sorry to be late. They're late than ever. Oh, nice oh to see you. I just hate it when people are late. <laughs> we, already volunteered you. we already volunteered you for a job. So if, excuse me for coming in late on this, but if one or two people on this committee meet, that's okay without having a recording of it? Yeah. Yes. You, you can have, yeah, that's a, you know, if you're less than a quorum, you can discuss things outside of, the open meeting. Do you need to keep minutes of that meeting and record? No, that's, that's really up to, up to you. And then the other shoe with that is um, is what I think they call it in series or parallel. I think it's in, in series that if we had a subcommittee with three of us, because what a quorum is for. Right. So if we had a subcommittee with three, and then I went and talked to one other person about that who wasn't at that meeting. And that's you cumulatively add that right. because yeah. between meetings, you've now had four people in yeah. quorum. I, that's my understanding yeah. of right. the, you know. I think the idea with a subcommittee is um, let's say there was an event planning or, you know, like planning the next movie thing, like two people would put their heads together yeah. and do that task and then bring to the, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. sort yeah. through all the various options and then bring to yeah. the committee. Here's what we recommend. Mm -hmm. And I the think committee says, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think. That's what it's so for. It. But it would be for something like. That's like a subcommittee. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I, that is exactly. It could also be one or two of us meet with, students and faculty and the superintendent to talk about what things are going on at the school. And then that committee reports back and says, right, this is the kind of thing that's going on, but not going into specific people. And this is a, a thing we could do to help support them or to help mm -hmm. facilitate an event or something like that. Without that going makes into a lot of sense. This and that person did that. Yeah. So yeah, I think we first tried this when we were going to reach out to the different groups. Because mm -hmm. I remember I was subcommittee with Wayne. Mm -hmm. And it was great because he did all the work and I did nothing. <laughs> Not <true. laughs> I just Actually, want, it is. But, yeah. I just want to share that it's going to start raining. And by the time we are done, it's going to be raining heavily. Okay. I am thinking about getting dashing out and getting my umbrella. Yeah. Does that, is anyone else in the same boat? Or are they without yeah, umbrellas in my bag? We have an umbrella subcommittee. <laughs> like to, right, I'm here. looking out the window, and it's going to start. If you wouldn't mind. I'm just going to run out and yeah, grab yeah. <laughs> uh, it, you know, I'll Actually, I was going to say, if, yeah, if you want to grab mine out of the, you'll open the back door. I don't know. If you, maybe I should just run out. Yeah, Can we let's just go, take like quick, a five-minute break? break? Cook that umbrella we'll break. Yeah. Can we pause for five minutes? Yeah. And reconvene it. At well, well, if, if I get up. my umbrella, it's like a big party <laughs> golf go family umbrella. <laughs> then I can take everybody to their cars. Go get it. I might have to uh, take a minute out. Oh, I just hear, uh, I'll take this break because Kayla is just coming back from two days of climbing outdoors. Wow. Yeah, All right. it's been well, quite a thing for, they're learning how to do that without a guide. So I just heard her come in and I'll go say goodbye, hello to my wife and then I'll be back. Thank you, great. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. What is it? What is the date?
I don't really draw, but I like the big one. Yeah. yeah, and I've got this sweater, and I don't melt, so. Onward with our charge. <laughs> Yeah, it's already lightning. Well, well, this one, well, so as we wrap that one up, light rain expected in 30 minutes becoming heavy 19 minutes later. That's a that's a that's mm -hmm. we could be we could end by that. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. And that's just an app. <laughs> um, so we'll be when Pat comes back, we can move on to new business. Thing, okay, I think. Yeah. Mark, yes, I have something to add to four C. Okay, when... great. You want to share that now, or wait a minute until Pat comes back in? Um, I can wait until she's back. Joanne, thank That's... you for emailing me. And I realize I dropped the ball on getting back to you. It's been a um, it's been a challenging spring for a variety of reasons, but I wanted to share um, a resource. Folks might have heard of the Hampshire or the um, the Collaborative for Educational Services in Northampton. Are folks familiar with that organization? So um, part of their mission is to, um, they call it joy and justice in schools. And I have been a part of trainings that they've offered. Um, I can send this link out to the whole committee, but they have, they provide services um, to organizations, to schools. I think primarily it's um, school focused, but I wonder about either whether they could consult with us or recommend other folks. So like, for example, and this is the link that I'll send, they have equity teams. So addressing inequities in schools, requiring adults and young people to work together to explore, assess, and transform school culture. They provide student-centered work, um, intergroup dialogues. They do coaching and professional development with leadership teams. Um, they also provide customized professional development, um, and then they do mentorship and coaching for equity and social justice for committees and leadership groups. Um, and they help also provide equity and inclusion assessments. So they really provide a lot of services. Um, and I have experienced as a participant, um, one of their teams at a previous school that I had um, been involved with. And they, I think they do really good work. So there could be some potential there to partner with them um, if we decide that we want to move forward with some sort of um, offering either to town staff or collaboration with schools. My guess is the schools are probably already aware of this organization and these resources, but it even got me thinking about, um, you know, whether we could receive some coaching around our committee um, and trying to mm -hmm. us yeah. out, okay, what's, what's our vision? How are we functioning? What's our process like? Where, you know, where are some blind spots or work we might need to do? So I will email, I'm going to write myself a note so I don't forget to email this out to everyone um, with this link to these services. Um, yeah, so that could be one example of, of um, kind of local experts that do this type of work if folks are interested. Nice. Mm. I see. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Was it the Northampton Educational Collaborative? Is that what you... It's called the, I believe it's called the, uh, well, the website is collaborative.org, Collaborative for Educational Services. Um, they've worked with, um, they've worked with a variety of school districts um, in the area. Uh, and um, yeah, I will send you this link to these services. Great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, anything else on 
uh, continuing conversations of old business 4C. I want to ask Mark, now that Wayne is here, do we want to backtrack and just mention what you shared about yeah. jazz music? Or do we want to hit him up for that another time? Oh, I right. think we should probably wait because the weather is going to really get yeah. awesome. Right. And okay. okay. So I, we, I offer, I volunteer to follow up with Wayne. Okay. okay. Pat's okay. going to reach out to you, Wayne. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. good thing. Music came up and your name followed quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, then if we jump on to uh, new business, 5A is CDI leadership for upcoming year. So um, I guess we had an impromptu grassroots subcommittee on that that Pat reached out to me and said she was interested in stepping down from being clerk. And I said, oh, no. And I said, because <laughs> I wanted to step back from being chair. And we're all, oh, uh oh. <laughs> so we um, put that on the agenda to um, talk to. And since we could talk to one other person without it being a quorum, we started by reaching out to the most recent clerk person to see if she had any interest. So I'll leave that. I don't know where we are on that. We are hoping you would take one of our positions. <laughs> I think they're talking about me. I yes. got approached by both of them. Yes. And um, I... I said, I, if you take mine, I, I'll take hers and support you. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. We can open it up to the floor too. The yes. To the yeah. Floor. Anyone else who is interested? I mean, but you know, I yes. I um I have done this for three years. Oh wow! From the and, beginning, right? No, no, Mark was the first clerk, and I was the second. So Mark was year one, and then I was years two, three, and four. I was clerk to Wayne's chair. Yeah. So it's I've enjoyed it, and I appreciate the opportunity, and I'd like to take a step back from that. And remain as a member, but not as the clerk. Understandable. Well, I will share that Pat reached out to me, which I I I I, I sort of felt that coming, and I I did do the clerk duties for two months. My my great I'm not concerned about my skill set. My great concern is that there is timeliness, and I have various trips, and I and that makes me worried that uh, unless I've got like a co-chair or so, a co or something, mm -hmm. uh, I'm concerned that I would miss something. Um, I am a, a perfectionist, but I also am the secretary of another group that I've done for 30 years and I make the, I, I do the same job. Only I think this group, well, you've set the bar up there. <laughs> well, I do want to say that I, I talked to Jennifer about it, and she made the point that the minutes, the only thing that's required in minutes is attendance, those in attendance, um, and any motions that are put before the group, and then what the vote is. That, um, you know, they don't have to be as detailed as I have written them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we could just say discussed. That's correct. Right. right. And, and when I did my little hunting around at websites and committees, I found minutes that were like five bullet points and that was it. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought someone going to see these minutes really wouldn't get a sense of the flavor. I thought ours were great. Yeah. But that, 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 that is, I, I can't, I cannot fathom myself having the time to do this, this. Um, well, I will, not just opening it up to your discussion because I also do think I do a great job for what I can do. You said something that made me think that when we approached burning out um, Wayne, we came up with co-chairs, um, Kayla and Margaret. And maybe if not co-chairs, maybe we have like an alternate or a vice. So that you know, if there's a chair, then there's a vice chair who is there when you can't make it and covers and 
and maybe we have a clerk, we have a vice clerk, you know, so that you have someone that you say, I'm going to miss the next whatever. Can you cover me on this one? You know? mm -hmm. Like uh, I'm on the, on the planning board. Um, Bill Dwyer is our designate to the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission. So he Zooms with their meeting every month. I'm the alternate. And in the first year, I probably went three times and I haven't gone since. So it's been five years. Um, so it's kind of sporadic that that backup. I don't know if that sounds that makes the chair and the clerk sound more enticing to anyone. It also, oh, I just saw lightning strike yeah. out there. Thank you, Dean Rollins. Um, that might also help the feeling of involvement and be feeling less of the burden if. There are actually teams. You know, there's the mm -hmm. there's the chair team, you know, chair and vice. There's mm -hmm. a, I, I, I'm just putting that out there on yeah. the table. I or, also know that when I did the the work for Pat while she was away, I did not do the minutes. Sarah I did not do these. Sarah did. Right. Sarah, Sarah did those. Right. And yeah. if I'd had to do these two, there I could. I, I you know, the, and, you know. So. And I sort of felt the same way. Like, okay, I can write the minutes. <laughs> You know, it's, I'm not. I'm way out of practice, but I can do that. But the this part, I felt like, I'm so glad Joanne is doing this part because I could do this part kind of, but I don't think. What I do you do mean this. by this part? Oh, I'm sorry. The agenda. Yeah, yeah. You have the agenda, um, and then you have to send it in to get it approved, it posted in the link. There's a whole set of steps, and I found yeah. that it, you set me up beautifully because it was easy. It what didn't take that long. I was just anxious about the timeliness, but I got them all done early. I even said to people, anybody have any agenda items they'd like to add? And yeah. I'm used to that from my other group, is to get things ahead of time yeah. to get on. I you know think of those two things as kind of the micro and the macro. And uh, I've been this successful chair, I like to think, because it was all being done by the super clerk. Um, she was, you know, Pat was doing the agenda and then running it by me. And that's yeah. that's the that's the macro. That's the overview. What are we going to do next month? And the micro, the detail. What did we talk about? And as Pat's saying, it doesn't have to be as, you know, it doesn't have to right. fill a whole page and go on to the next page. Well, for minutes. Um, so <laughs> maybe we even try to just get to bullet points. The following items were discussed. Bing, 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 bing. Um, yeah, I interested I, to follow up on this item. Bing. I could, I could see myself doing that. You know, le releasing myself from trying to do the kind of discursive minutes that I was originally trained in years and years and years ago, or that Pat has been doing so beautifully. And I mean, it really helps when. The recording, I, when I know that the recording of our meeting is going to be on the town's YouTube channel because yeah. we could do oh. bullet points, <laughs> yes, and then and then put the link at the bottom of the minutes, and if somebody's like, "Oh, they talked about my special thing," I'll click that link and listen to that conversation, and everybody else might look at the minutes and go. Okay, good. They talked about those things. That's great that those are, yeah. And then, you know, decision. Okay, good. The date that the movie is happening or whatever. And, you know, if somebody's really interested, they can go and, and watch the whole conversation. I love that. Well, I, I will take responsibility for getting the train going too deep into minutes because I started being the clerk and I that's the way I do them for my projects. I have to you know, this subcontractor said subcontractor said he's going to do this, and this one said, you know. So I was kind of over documenting, mm -hmm. and which also bit me that I felt like while I was taking them, I wasn't participating as much. Yeah. So then when I, I do that. So, so then when I found that I could just you know write down some bullet points as I was going along, be participating, and then go back and fill them out watching the video. You know, that takes more time because you're doing it again, but you know, um, it's yeah. all there, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
Have you ever had more than one person um, for the job of taking the minutes? Instead of a co-person, maybe two people can do it mm -hmm. and just bounce off of each other to complete it. So it's not so much of a mm, stressful situation on one person because listening to Joanne and listening to Zara seems like it's a lot of stress just to keep it up, which makes me appreciate <laughs> Pat even yeah. more yeah. because she's done this by herself for so long. Yeah. So always with look. Sarah, who takes her own notes, though. Mm -hmm. So I, Sarah, so I always offer to. Yeah, build. I take notes too. Yeah. So I, I always yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. But it's a collaborative. Just to, be, just to be clear, if there's there's two pieces that I see. There's the there's taking the minutes. Right. There's the agenda and having to get it posted right. and getting it up all get it approved. Right. All of that stuff. Right. And so I think I would translate to: Do we split those up? Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Have okay. More than one person yeah. doing the whole responsibility instead yeah. of having it on one person or <laughs> instead of saying hey what do you have can i you know just two people doing it yeah. i don't know if you've ever done that before no we could try it <clears throat> sounds like a cool i mean idea. because the way it sounds again it's just a lot yeah. of responsibility now for the people right. we have left that would like to, that right. may want to have to do it may i, I make a motion that that we uh separate those two duties all right I approve. Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> Until such time, we have a member that wants to do them both. Yeah, that's a great yes. thing. Thank you. So you are making a motion? I made the yeah. motion. I would right. second. Can we do that? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I sure. Do. Now, <laughs> that's what we do. discussion. So <laughs> any further discussion on that before we vote? Do we want to call them, Do we want to call them co-clerks or clerk and vice clerk or... I think the same heading would be. Equal. I want to be the vice clerk. <laughs> clerk of vice. <laughs> so, so can I just clarify? So we're splitting up the actual minute taking at the meeting from as a, the, as a separate. We're pulling that out as a separate responsibility. And then the other responsibilities include working with the chair to set the agenda yes yeah and also arranging for the link to be yeah. secured yeah. and put into the agenda yeah. and that the um seeking approval of the agenda and posting right so it's the minute taking is one job and all the other administrative duties duties are another job right now we could call those co-clerks or we could call it the clerk and the secretary so in my other group, there is a recording secretary and a corresponding secretary. The recording secretary does this, and the corresponding secretary does all of what you already said. It, it just so happens in that group that I am already both. Or we could make up our own terms. As <laughs> right. I'm just saying. Secretary yeah. has a certain stigma yeah. to it. Yeah. We can make a our own name. I don't know yeah. if these are my like terms that are required to yeah. boards for the yeah. committees and Hadley. Are they? <laughs> so is the motion okay. that we have co-clerks is that the motion Wayne, the well we're clerk? yeah yes. we're we're in the discussion phase yeah. of that so okay. you have a motion you have a second then you discuss it and when there's no we're more discussion talking. you vote on it okay okay we're so clerks. so uh so i it's, think your I, clarification i think the clarification was important one okay. clerk takes the meeting takes the minutes and publishes the minutes the other does those three things that you mentioned. Right. Mm -hmm. We should be specific about what those are. Okay. So do we have, before we vote on it, do we have the name that we want to call those two positions or? I'm not fussed about the name. I really okay. don't care what we call these. I care that they get filled. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's important that we specify more than yes. Secretary 1 and Secretary 2. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, With the just ability, for the sake of clarification, just what, what the jobs are. If it, if That's it, true. If it, it doesn't feel right or... Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was it? Can we say recording? Recording, recording, recording secretary and 
reporting clerk and corresponding clerk. clerk but yeah. the corresponding clerk has to, you know, reach but out no to <laughs> Recording and coordinating. I don't or, corresponding. And, corresponding. Yeah, corresponding and reporting, and we'll take the vice out and we'll take the secretary out. So. Right. Yeah, so gender. Corresponding clerk. Right. right. That, and I, that person, the corresponding clerk, would take the minutes? No, no, no that's the other way around. Recording, writing it down. <laughs> the recording. recording. I see. I didn't hear that. Recording secretary takes the minutes and publishes them. Right. And, and yeah. corresponding clerk does the rest. Does all the correspondence. Here, Mark, do you approve it? Here's the agenda. Yeah. Here, here, can I get the link? And, and the link. that you know all of it. <laughs> and that's doing the interface with, yep. with the, the town, town hall. With the right. town hall. And the meeting town the time hall. frame right. of getting things. Right. And how about booking the room? That can be done at this point once. Right. Once okay. at the beginning of the okay. right, because I do see here the dates are confirmed all the way to December. Yeah, it's because Violet is good enough to do that. Okay, right. So we don't have to tie that in. Not no. yet. But the corresponding clerk, I think, would do that. Either that or a volunteer who just does or it. Or volunteer. That could be yes, that's does true. It one You're time. right. That's true. It gets done. No. I don't know I think if this that would is fall under the chair, wouldn't it? Under the Wouldn't chair. That fall under the chairs. Yeah, I'm looking under the chair. I, I might get under the table. Well, I just want to be clear. Or the vice <laughs> chair, the chair of vice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Not for any further, I do want to say that what I've appreciated about you, Mark, being the chair, is that you're on another committee, actually yes. several, but the one that I know of has been in existence for years, very seasoned very you know they follow procedure and i i feel like you experienced that and you modeled that here am i wrong no i, I think you know? that's right and that's where i was just about to go because on those co committees we then we've now been told that we have to do roll call oh yeah I remember the last meeting yeah. we had you, yeah but nobody told us we had to do that and then that's why i was just about to say are are we you know free of that i i don't know but what we've started doing um, on the planning board is going alphabetically. And I said, shouldn't we go by seniority? Then I vote last. You know? <laughs> but, I think um, that's, that's, a, that's a minor issue that can be given to anybody. Who's here? You can this is who's up. here. Bang, 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 which goes into the minutes. Right. So I am going to start with the room and then go to the Zoom room. So... Pat, how do you vote for what our discussion? Yes. You are yes. Sarah. Yes. Crystal. Yes. What, for what? What are we voting Joanne, for? Well, we, the two positions, Separate. the two clerks. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, Mark, <laughs> I vote aye. Uh, Megan. Aye. Aye. And aye. All right. And did I miss anyone? <laughs> the no. owl. No, that's good. <laughs> So it was unanimous yes. with a okay. roll call. So, um, great. Now, I would suggest a motion where uh, we could have a chair and assistant chair. So okay, I want to say vice. And I, no one needs to second this, but I'm going to say because of the great start to tonight, that Crystal would make a great chair and I will support her. <laughs> and I'll use the same line that I got a year ago, or was it two years ago, <laughs> that when I was trying to step back and Pat said, I'll do all the work. And oh, you can just wow. leave the meeting. Okay. <laughs> do the, okay, thing. next. Any more questions? <laughs> I'll I'll second the nomination. Thank you, okay. Wayne. So now we're in the discussion phase. This is your chance what do you to say, say about that. I don't mind. I mean, it's something new. I am on a few other boards, so this is going to be something that I can learn and maybe apply to my other boards and committees and learn a little bit more of how to be a chair yeah. with all four feet on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I think you make a great chair. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Yeah. 
something new for me to learn. So you you'd be like the backup. Yes. In case I had anything yeah. like something came up. Yeah, that was a throw me in pot today. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. You can be the chair of vice. No, I, <laughs> chair advice. <laughs> you guys are on a roll today. Yes, we are. Yeah. Wow. I'll be the assistant chair. How's that? Okay. Does that sound good? You'll be the man behind the movement. The chair correspondent or whatever. <laughs> the corresponding chair. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Are we getting closer? Shall we stick with assistant chair and chair? That's fine. Okay. Sure. Any other thoughts, discussions? So do we have um, agreement from the recording chair and the corresponding chair that they will serve in these weapons? I think we that's have... what we now go okay. to a vote. Okay. So now I, that's why I was saying, is there any more discussion? Because if there's no more discussion, then I would call for a roll call vote. This so is... I'll start. I, I want to know what we're what voting, we voting on. on. We're voting on Crystal Jackson as chair okay. and Mark Dunn as assistant okay. chair. Okay. Well, my first thought is to the people do they say I'm willing to do it? Because to me, that's all that's needed. Am right. I wrong though? Because right. in historically, well, I think we would both like to feel okay. that the committee's behind us. Okay, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Everyone Fair in enough. agreement. But I think, I mean, I don't want to speak for the chair, the chair, the what's the the presumptive chair <laughs> that. I think in our uh, informal discussions back and forth in the last two minutes, it sounded like we were both solidified. On okay, board. but I yes. don't mind. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go and ahead. Roll call. So, <laughs> so Pat, are you in support? Yes, I vote uh, yes. Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Crystal. Yes. All right. I agree. Joanne. Yeah. Yes. Mark. Yes. Did you agree? Yes, yes, from Megan and from Wayne. Wayne. Okay. Keep wanting to call you E Wayne. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been done. Uh, so we're trying to thank you, everyone. That was uh, that was a big. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. glad that I'm going and to be able to I fill such you. enormous <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Size so Mark, and a half. Mark, point of information. Yes. Do we have a, a corresponding chair and a recording chair? People who have agreed to serve in those capacities? I think you mean the clerk. Clerk, sorry. Yes. Yeah, that's what the site you mean. Clerk. Clerk. I'm yes. sorry. We clerk. don't. And the only people right. left are Sarah, me, Wayne, and me. Right. Oh. So that's what I want to clarify. All right. So right. So on our so right. So previous item we did not identify we we identified the positions but not who was going to take it correct so i would make a motion that i would nominate sarah as the recording right recording um clerk and joanne as the corresponding clerk is that right i get those right yeah i'm really anxious about this but for the month of July. <laughs> That's even more exciting given given my month. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I guess. know, especially knowing the, how unsupported this group is. <laughs> you need backup. Was there one time when you didn't get things done in time we had to skip the meeting? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was fearful of it. But I can show I can sh show you all the trips. I'm happy to do that. I, the 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 greatest stressful month is the month when there's a a Monday holiday around the time that we have our meeting, because you absolutely have to secure the information far into the week before. So I I know all the tricks. Mm -hmm. But yes, and I and I would be happy to be the supportive person in the transition period. Yes. I I feel nervous about it i don't have a gut feeling yes but i have a feeling that i would be the best person to do this of who is not already serving in a position yeah. so help me out with that yeah yeah <laughs> i agree now this would mean that i would be reaching out to you to crystal saying right. here's she's the, the agenda and right. she approves the agenda right i think that's the first step Right. And what you don't see 
chat because I just I what's the uh, Taylor say? I shake it off. I fall on my face constantly. <laughs> Maybe not this committee. You don't see it because I'm I've been backed up very well. No, we do. No, I'm but um, <laughs> so I'm now the chair of the Smart Growth Affordable Housing yeah. Committee. Well, I I dropped that ball. We we had to you know we twice hosted meetings and had to cancel them because we didn't get it right. We we didn't get all the information, you know. Right. Because I was so used to having Pat behind me, I just didn't get the steps done and I yeah. was and I was relying on an outside contract. You know, so anyway, yeah. Um it's it's okay to fail. Maybe if Pat if we have got together with a calendar, we if I write it there, what I did that other time, yeah, we, we can do was I, I put in because I had to work around when I knew it was going to be out of town. And I did I and I was happy and you even sent me a postcard thanking me, which I have forgot to thank you for. <laughs> so I do it publicly. <laughs> but um okay, I'm willing to do it. Okay. All right. Thank you. She's, Thank she's you. willing to do that. She's okay. willing to, right. be, to be the, the Thank mentor. Thank you so much. Thank you. So okay. And then you will, yeah, okay. Yeah. Without other, if there's no other discussion, I'll take it to a vote. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All in favor of, <laughs> all in favor of <laughs> Joanne as corresponding clerk and uh, Sarah as recording clerk. Right. Did I get that right? Yes. Pat, yes. Sarah, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Crystal, yes. Joanne, sure. yes. Mark, yes. Everyone, yes. Um, okay. Uh, I, like I almost called Wayne Burt. Okay. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, yes. And <laughs> Megan, yeah. I'll take it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Who reports all these to the, so they end up on the town website where they've got us all listed? Oh, we just dumped that all on okay. the corresponding clerk. <laughs> Well, actually, Sarah has that, been serving the, as web, web manager. Yeah, and I was just, that made me think about that. Right. We, we, you you were doing to. that? I think so. And there's a couple of other things that's recording. that have come <laughs> up. Yeah. There's one or two other things that have come up in relation to the web page that I either didn't learn how to do or didn't write down or they're not part of putting up the minutes, which I refer to my list of procedures every time. So I do need to sit down with Jennifer at some point and write yeah. my step-by-step -step instructions for those things also. So okay. this will be one of them. Great. That well, would that's... be having the archives have on record somewhere. Maybe the meeting after you do that, we should introduce that as an item in the meeting so it goes on the record as to yeah. what that position does. What what. Oh, the procedures you follow and thank you for doing it and that segues well into the next item which is updating the, the website oh and that my my update was that jennifer said if people would come over um she will teach whomever is there how to update the website the breadth based part of the website okay that she she knows that it is out of date she's happy to teach that Okay, oh, and if that Sarah, is that something you you just said you were? Yeah, in? that's something I'm. Do we need a second person? It's a good idea. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a good idea. For me. Would it be better to have two people go at the same time? Yeah, it probably is. But then Jen probably has to teach. Nice. Mm -hmm. For the teach, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for the yeah. teaching. True. Yeah. Well, it, it, I'm just saying it makes sense that I do it. <laughs> right. Because you're going to come to. Okay. It, 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 the yeah. so. if, if we figure out. A, yeah, yeah. I used to do it for our church, but that was yeah. fifteen years ago. Yeah, and yeah. technology is so yeah. at my business. I know how to update things on our website, and I also do constant contact emails. And it's similar technology. Here's what the fonts are. Here's when you want to have an indent. You want to change it to the color red. You know that. I, I mean, I'm familiar with those that that stuff. So if you reach out to her about and just try to figure out some some times if I have enough um you know head uh heads up days in advance, I just tell my staff I'll be up for an appointment. Right. Okay. It'd be fun. <clears throat> and that would bring us to open agenda. I'd like to put the on the open agenda the uh summer meeting dates. 
because I know people go on vacation. Mm -hmm. And I, I know in the past we've gone into complications with that. Oh, so Or quorum issues. Quorum issues, yeah. correct. Quorum issues. And so our next meeting is 718, which is the third Thursday. And I'm... I have somewhat of a conflict with that personally, as well as the 15th of August. Mm. So I, I wondered if. I think I similarly have conflicts with both of those. I will I, confirm later, but I'm, I didn't get those dates right now, but it's possible I will have conflicts on both of those dates. So the dates are 7 18, um, July 18, and August the 15th. So do the 15th. You have a conflict with the 15th, Megan? I think one year we canceled one of those two meetings. We did. We August, had a, August, August, the August might meeting. Have been, yeah. Might have been. So does anyone else have a conflict with either July 18th or August 15th? I don't yet. It's that I go, go to Vermont often, but I've been scheduling around these dates. Okay. So I, I don't but if I knew, okay, this is going to get canceled, then I, I that be might be a time I I go because I usually go uh, in the middle, somewhere in the middle of the month. Are we looking at to cancel it as a whole or selecting an alternate date in July? Either one we could do. Well, let's talk about July right now because that's the next meeting. I just yeah. wanted to back up a step to the the previous. Yes. Do we want to make those positions effective next meeting? Okay, so I'll continue being chair. I was going to give back. <laughs> oh, God, no, no, no. It's the fiscal year is the, is the year for the town, but I think it's July. There you yeah. go. Okay. It's July. Yeah. <laughs> Thank so, you. So Pat is doing minutes right now. I am doing minutes. But but you might you might not be doing the, the, the corresponding. Well, I will work with the what? new person okay. on yeah, that, like that matter, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. All right, okay, so, so 718 to... is, and Wayne, you think you might have a conflict with the July 18th meeting? Yes, I'll double check that as soon as we're this meeting is over, but I think it's going to be the 18th and I'm out. How about you, Megan? Are you, as far as you know, July 18th? I should okay. be fine. Yeah. How about everyone else? I'm, I'm fine. As far as you know, I don't have any issues and wouldn't know until yeah. it's emergency. All right, so we, we'll keep the 18th because we would only have two people unable to attend. And then the 15th, it looks like oh, there's me, I'm the other one. Oh, you're, oh, you're the other one, sorry. But I might be able to zoom in depending on where I am, but I won't be physically here. Okay, okay. Apparently. And then the 15th, we have two people unable to attend. And you said join may or may not. No, 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 it, I, I don't okay. have any plans oh, then. Okay. I have that written down. It's just if we knew, then I might change my plans. But this comes first. But you have an August August conflict, conflict. and yeah. Wayne, you have an August fifteen conflict. Oh, Megan does. Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan has. Megan does. But Wayne, but you're able to. Zoom I will in. double check when the meeting is over. I'll be. I'll get back to you. Check um, for the picture. But he can check for the August meeting. So yes. Wayne, you give me a minute. I'll check right now. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I mean, Why not? If the other four of us can make it, even if Pat, Wayne, and Megan are all missing in August, if the four of us remaining can it's make it, that's warm. enough. Yeah. It's so warm, and I like, really yeah. like seeing you all. So oh, me too. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay. Well, it'll be the new leadership team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we will all have to be here. here I'm go. clear on the 15th of August. All right. Okay, we're good. I guess we can keep that. Okay, right. so we'll just keep those meeting dates. Keep it now. Excellent. Right. Thank you. Thank you Great. so much. Yeah, thanks for good. doing that. Good idea. Can I ask that um, that the November and December meetings are both the second Thursday of the month? That's intentional. Is that correct? Yes, because yep. of Thanksgiving for November. Although and I think, isn't Thanksgiving later? Isn't it on the... It's, it's the following week, but some may have vacation. Some people travel or... Got it. Got it. Okay, great. We just, I, I think we decided to keep it far away. Yeah. Just just to get yeah. people prepared in case yeah. it's something that should back up for them on yeah. their yeah. vacation. Got it. Thank 
Got it. Okay. And same thing for December. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Anytime, Megan. Um, anything else on open agenda? Then closing reflections. Well, wouldn't closing reflections come after confirmed dates for, which I think we just did. Actually, this is just a listing. Confirmed okay. dates are already confirmed. Okay. That's how I read it right okay. now. Yeah. It's just an yeah. FYI type of thing. Does anyone have a closing reflection to share? I just, yes. I just want to say now that you two, how, um, I'm sorry, I didn't think of the name of Nick. from Hadley Media. Nick. How can I get this closer? Maybe they can see it. Can, uh, can you, yeah, you can I, see that? I can see it on the screen there. Yeah, you can see. Just, you've you've all seen these things before about equality and equity. And I just, oh, yeah, there we go. Like, how can do I sit back? Push back. Yeah, let's, but see, it'll be smaller. I'm trying to get closer. I'm on the table. I just was reminded, um, I'm in another group where we talk about social justice issues. And I I love this image about how when how the the different people having the exact same box they can't all see right, right? Uh, Wayne have you seen this before and Megan you've seen yes. this before I've seen okay. the graphic yeah so I like um, that. so I what the, this time one of the things that I I missed was we we did a like a dissection like oh this guy's looking over to see this little guy's happy was the idea that it's still three crates like that the resources were the same yes. but they got distributed. Right. in a more appropriate way mm -hmm. and i i i hadn't seen that before mm -hmm. i just i saw it as he got what he needs he got he what he needs he didn't need extra but it was still three crates to bring them to the same you know just to think about yeah. things when we think there's not enough of something mm -hmm. there's often enough it's just not okay it's so distributed correct it's not distributed in that right way right right, right. right. And so I just found that inspiring. So I brought that. This is really in color. Thank you. You know, just a reminder that maybe we're working on that. Someone watching this will also look at it in a different light as well. You know, yeah. instead of just seeing mm -hmm. the three boxes, actually seeing how they are distributed to make everything equal now. Right. And it's yeah. not just someone's and they everyone has a box but not everyone is able to receive the same makes me think of the flat tax versus the progressive tax <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah and i just like to how if you look at it study it the this guy this little guy who can't see it clearly looks bummed out yeah but it's cool that this one the little guy is now happy and the guy in the middle is looking over and noticing his happiness Right. Mm -hmm. So that the piece about how do we feel when we know that there's equity for someone next to us? Mm -hmm. It just we did we did kind of a deep dive into this that I yes. I just thought I, yeah. you know yeah. it's just a nice a nice image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And I would entertain a motion to adjourn. But before you do, I have a bit of information that I was elected. Uh, to be on the library committee in the last town election. Um, yeah, it was a towering six votes that I got. Um, uh, a, a trustee, right? Is that a, a trustee, right? Trustee, right? trustee, trustee win, correct? Two of them, two of them were from uh, Kayla's parents, <laughs> and the other four were friends of my my father in law who. <laughs> Whipped up the vote. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I didn't know. He, I he knows a winner when he sees one, way. Was there a second one? Oh, yes. yes, I'll take it that way. Yeah. <laughs> he served on, when he was in Florida. He had served on the library committee there for several years. And so he was aware of that. And they registered in Hadley. And he saw the opening and immediately thought about family participation. So I just want you to know they meet on the second Tuesday of the yeah. month. Yeah. Are you a trustee? Yeah. Thursday. Trustees. Yeah. Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yes. And Wayne, did you want this position, or is this a total surprise? Well, when he asked me about it, I, I he said, "May I nominate you for the library okay. committee?" And uh, 
I thought about it and said, well, I'm interested in the library and would be happy thinking that nothing would come of it. But <laughs> I really it. meant it when I said it would be okay. So well, you know what, Wayne, oh, that's two of us on the library committee now. Yeah. All right. I'm the director and you're a trustee. All that, right. And also, um, I think libraries are so important in terms of equity, in terms of space. Like I take my kids there all the time. They have oh. stuff for Pride. They have stuff out for Black History Month. They are, you know, house people in the community are able to be in the air conditioning and use the restroom. So like, I, I think these libraries are so important in terms of our efforts. Yes. So to have that crossover between DEI leadership and the library and, and keeping that spirit alive as books are being banned, as there are efforts to limit um, to limit exposure of our young people to all different voices, I think is so important that both of you are in those roles. So thank you so much for doing that. Well, I appreciate that, Megan. And I always ask if anyone has any ideas from the DEI committee for me yeah. to share with the friends of the library and the directors, let me know because then I can bring that to the, the committee when we meet and we can make a, you know, decide yeah. on how we would like to express things to the public. Mm. So this I've, library... always, I, I've always felt that uh, librarians are the people in our public life who are there because they love to serve. Right. They're not, they're not getting yeah. more power. They're not getting any yeah. more fame, <laughs> anything. They just serve. And they're so deeply interested in making it possible for people to learn and people to have access to books. So and I've have had my admiration forever. So now I'm happy to be able to do more about that. So anyway, I just wanted you to know. Thank you. Thank well, we you. do have a great staff too at the library. They do amazing things and, and it's just wonderful to interact with them on any level. The children's room and everything. It's really a spectacular crew there. Mm. Yes. Yeah, there's also now an impromptu basically teen center that's being held there. And I know this from personal experience that Kids from Hopkins are going there every afternoon as well. And wow. That's amazing. And I really appreciate that. And I've also been told by a librarian from another community that librarians often have a very special perspective on what's happening in the community because people come to them asking for books on cancer or books on how to talk to your kids about divorce or books on, you know, sure. trans issues, right? And so they have this perspective of like, what kind of resources does this community need? Um, and I never, I'm not a librarian, so I never thought of that, but I think that's also such a rich, those folks are such rich and important resources. Right, yes. and that's the thing too, when they mm -hmm. do have this insight on what the community needs, they can bring it to us and we can look into how to make that come to fruition by bringing it to the public. So it's, everybody is joined in at the hip on this. Yeah. It's really a, a yeah. wonderful thing, especially with the new library being built and so many resources now, bigger spaces and more books. Yeah. It's just spectacular to see all of the children coming to the library, even toddlers with their parents and story time. It's it's really wonderful to see now. Mm -hmm. That's that Absolutely. reminds me of, of how when we were interviewing all these different people, I, I don't think we got we the library. Didn't. We didn't, but I'm we sure didn't. that we will. Yeah. So, yeah. But we've got these two who can also go yeah. still. That would be. It might be interesting to invite the library director here. Yes. Yeah. Some, we I can think that's that and, yeah, and, I can speak to Patrick and see if, yeah. but he's really busy. So I can see if he, what day, or excuse me, what month yeah. he'd be able to come. Right. Okay. And it wouldn't have to be for the whole meeting. You know, right. it could be. It, just to express his, his feelings and so forth, you know? Yeah. And right. maybe we somebody can... said we could interact with that that space in a way because they're such a public inviting venue oh, yeah. that right. uh, there might be ways in which that would serve both of us. Exactly. Yeah. Nice. Great. Okay. There right. is a motion to do. I was going to say that we could hold that meeting at the library, but 
I don't think that would help him because at our hours, hopefully he would be yeah. Zooming from he home. Probably, he probably right, Zooming. Right. Right. right, we are open on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Wednesdays is until 8, and Monday and Wednesday, uh, Monday and Friday till 7. So if we ever did want to hold a meeting, it would have to be at 6 instead of 7 or right. 7 yeah. instead of, uh, now we're, you know, give us some they, time. They have had meetings there that go past the library hours. Yeah, so on Tuesday. You can reserve the room. Yes, you can right. reserve the meeting room for hours other than the hours that they are open. Right. right. When we have our meetings on Tuesdays, the Tuesday, the library is closed. So this way we do not have people coming in and out. Right. Right. Yeah. So if we wanted to meet there, we could make that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to take up any more time. I just wanted to let you know, but good. I don't hear anything. I'm glad you're so, so you're elected and elated. That's yes. good. The two E's. You guys are on a roll, I told you. So, um, oh, and I just wanted to say it was very fun, very enjoyable to meet up for our little little potluck gathering. Well, and yes. thank you for space. And Megan and Crystal, I'm sorry you, you weren't there, but maybe it'll be an annual thing. It's just a thought. Mm. <laughs> and, um, you know, we can do it again. Yeah, no, we just had you know interesting conversation about whatever we wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, right. Not related. To it. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was fun. I'm sorry that I had to leave so early, but we had another engagement and I had to bop out. But it was lovely yeah. to meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, I'm not gonna make a motion that uh, we adjourn. And I would second that. <laughs> yeah. All in favor, raise your hand. Yeah, everyone's in favor. All right, thank you.